Welcome back. It is 8-11 and a gathering in Greenville taking place right now aims at actually strengthening ties to fight back against human trafficking. It's the sixth year for this annual event. It's hosted by the Bonds of course, St. Francis Health System. Fox Carolina's Myra Wee. She joins us live in Greenville. <laughs> Yes, we are inside the worship center of Grace Church on Pelham Road, and this seminar is just getting started. There is a doctor who is with Bon Secours St. Francis talking about their role in trying to find victims of human trafficking. Now, hundreds of people have registered for this event. It's also taking place live. Uh, they're live streaming it. Now, human trafficking is defined as the use of force, fraud, or coercion in exchange for labor services of a commercial sex act. And and, uh, or, or labor as well. Now, Fox Carolina has been following some recent cases that led to charges. Most recently, Aaron Simmons of Greenville was sentenced in federal court to 365 months or more than 30 years in prison. He pleaded guilty after being accused of using physical violence, threats, intimidation, and psychological manipulation to force multiple victims, both adult and minor, to engage in sex acts. In another case back in May the Anderson County Sheriff's Office charged James Wilson and April Lawrence with trafficking a 14 year old investigators say the couple would get money $20 each time in exchange for bringing the teen to a Greenville man whenever he requested the investigation also led to a charge of criminal sexual conduct with a minor against that man Often people think of sex trafficking, but um, it also includes labor trafficking. So people that are being exploited, maybe they've come to the United States, maybe they're, they're local here, and, and they begin working with folks under false pretenses. They're, they're told that in order to continue to be supported, they need to do X, Y, and Z. This year's theme of the seminar is from awareness to action. Attendee, attendees will not only hear about the latest stats on human trafficking in South Carolina, but they'll also hear about collaborative efforts that are underway to help victims and to also hold traffickers accountable. So there are different representatives here that will speak today from the South Carolina Attorney General's Office and other community groups as well, talking about what they can do to keep uh, people from being trafficked So uh, and how they can help identify those victims and bring them to safety. Reporting live in Greenville, Maya Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.